Hello. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel and watching this video. This is a this is a very loose and you know just a chat, very right? informal and just relax conversation. Uh, while I am finishing an illustration, a little a little illustration for my Instagram. And I wanted to say a few things and just update you about my life and what's going on. Since the beginning of the quarantine, I live in Brazil and I was in the US when shit hit the fan and I was supposed to go to Seattle for an exhibition there. I was going to exhibit on an expo and then I was going to LA. So right when it started the epicenter of the coronavirus was in Seattle, so naturally the expo there got cancelled and the next one got cancelled as well and I had to come back earlier than planned. So I came back to Brazil earlier than planned and I started a quarantine because they were uh, asking people who were traveling to uh, go in quarantine even if the country wasn't like in quarantine formally they were asking people to stay home for 14 days before going out again because i've been in the us but then uh, brazil started the quarantine anyway so i just since march i'm like at home since we started quarantine, I started to feel like a little weird about my uh, creativity. Not that I wasn't creative, but I didn't know if I wanted to be creative drawing. Because I, I was posting every day a new drawing. I was literally creating a piece of drawing, a piece of illustration every day. And I still had work to do, so I was working like in different projects and I was doing my own thing like every day in illustration so like naturally <laughs> I think it's natural but I pushed it too hard and I, I think I had like a burnout or something because now it's so hard for me to want to draw it's weird I had never thought that this would be like a reality for me, but it's hard for me to want to draw and it's never been this way. I've always been like creative and I always knew that drawing was the way I expressed myself to the world. I mean I express myself in other ways, but like to the world and my, you know, publicly publicly, I think that's right, I express myself through a drawing and now I'm like, do I want to keep doing this? I don't know and it's very weird that I don't know and I've been feeling weird about it and a little bit guilty also like why guilty? why can't I just don't want to do it anymore because I feel like drawing is my is big part of my identity and if I don't draw then what, what am I? who am I? what am I gonna do? it's so weird that we put our identity into something that we do and then when we don't want to do it anymore then what? Then your identity is there, but you don't want to do it anymore. Then what? So that's not healthy. <laughs> I stopped posting on Instagram because that was Instagram was like being too much for me, and it was keeping me very anxious. And I was like, I don't need this. Um, it's okay if I lose some followers. I need to take a break and I did take a break I'm still kind of taking a break I'm not like I'm not using it as, as I was before and as I'm taking a break 
I'm like feeling guilty that I'm not posting, that I'm not drawing, um, that I'm not creating as I was before. Uh, there's a part of me who is feeling guilty because I had to take a break because I was it was too much, I was feeling too anxious, I didn't, I, I wasn't feeling joy anymore in what I was doing. And I was feeling guilty about it, like, why? Why? Instagram doesn't pay me to post. You know, my followers don't pay me to post. So why am I feeling so guilty? And I think, like, the guilt comes from that identity that I put into like drawing and art and illustration I have to be that or I'm nothing <laughs> and that's how I express myself in the world or I don't express myself at all and I'm like okay I can express myself in other ways and I can post that I can share that but then I think and who the hell will want to, to see that. Who, who want to see me trying to learn how to play guitar and sing at the same time? Who would like to see, you know, read my writing? Who would like to see me carving an avocado seed? Because that's the things that I've been doing. And videos, I've been recording videos and kind of creating some more um, kind of experimental and more like free things and videos and stuff. I don't know, I'm just trying to create other things and not be a prison of drawing of what I created as an idea of what I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. This is such a weird conversation. Anyway, <laughs> so creating videos are also weird for me but I like it I, I enjoy it but I don't have a script in this one so it, it's a little bit weird but that's okay and so I'm already like judging myself and judging my expression my self-expression because I think it's not good enough because that's not what I've been doing what I've been you know learning how to do my whole life what I've been learning how to do my own my whole life is drawing and I feel like I have a responsibility. I have like, it's uh, it's mandatory that I do this thing, and it's not. I can do other things, and I can change. And I, the things that I talk about, I can change how I talk about them. And you can do it too. You can change whatever. If you don't, if you're not happy doing what you're doing, you can change it. I can do something else. And I think that's like the main reason for doing this video is that we tend to put our identity, like build an identity around the thing that we do and if that thing doesn't work anymore for us, then we just fall apart because we don't have anything else that is like our identity, that is like so concrete, so like, like a foundation. Um, and our foundation shouldn't be on something else other than ourselves. It's just, you know what, um, if I don't want to draw anymore, like ever again in my life, it's okay. I'm still me. Uh, I can express myself in other ways. I can start dancing. <laughs> I don't know. I could start dancing. I don't want to, but I could. And I, I can start singing and writing songs and posting them without judgment that it's gonna suck. Because I know it's gonna suck. If you go back my Instagram, like, to the very beginning, I posted things that I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Like, is that okay? Is this good? Did I think this is good? this was good but like that's what I did back then and today I don't think it's good but back then it was like that's the best I can do so yeah let's post it so the self judgment and the self editing that's the thing that we need to overcome 
because it doesn't matter how you're going to express yourself it doesn't matter if it's through drawing, writing, um, filmmaking, songwriting, um, dancing, jumping rope, whatever it doesn't matter how you express yourself but you have something to say and you can express yourself so, so let's make our identity instead of how we express ourselves but what it is that we have to say the content, the essence of who we are is in the content, the things that we have to say and not how we say them it's not on how we express them but what it is that we're trying to express so I invite you to think about that for a moment is your identity how you express yourself or is your identity what you are trying to express because I think it's what you're trying to express it instead of how you express it so my identity is not an illustrator but what I express when I draw things the message in my drawings um, the feelings I try to convey in my illustrations that's the essence, that is my identity so it doesn't matter if I'm drawing, it doesn't matter if I'm painting it doesn't matter if I am singing a song I'm going to be expressing what I am and that is my identity what I am is my identity and not how I express it I don't know if it makes sense but uh, this video is so confusing so this is the illustration that I was doing this is the photo I used as reference because when I'm not feeling very um, inspired or creative I like using beautiful photographs as reference as a reference and this is the final illustration I'm gonna be posting on my Instagram very soon because it's been a long time since I don't post anything there so it's time to post something not because I have to but I kinda want to today <laughs> I know self-care and mental health is like constant work you have to be aware and mindful with everything that you do and know where it comes from is this coming from pure pressure of social media? not today yeah, thanks so much for watching this weird video and I'll see you soon